Our exhibition is called An American in London, Whistler and the Thames. And of course, Whistler was an American. He was born in 1834 in Lowell, Massachusetts. By the time he got to settle in London, which was 1859, he was well-traveled, but he was also a bit of a dandy. He's very good-looking at this point, I think. He's got curly hair, uh, this nice little straw hat, which Americanizes him a bit. It's a fairly rare dry point. It's done with great immediacy. You, to do this, you work directly on a copper plate with an etching needle and just draw. That sounds easy. I've tried it. It isn't easy. It isn't easy at all. Whistler, at this point, is, is ready to go, and he's creating these wonderful images of the Thames. This is an etching called the Lime Burner, and it shows a lime burner in his working house. The composition in this etching and the, the technique, the, the skillful draftsmanship is so amazing. The composition with its, its series of rectangles moving in, the light, dark, light, dark, moving into this tiny, intricate detail looking right across the river to, to the other side it is amazing. These etchings one has to stop and look. They're very intimate and they're very intricate and they, they show this fantastic attention to detail. This is a fantastic picture and one of the, the high points of the show. It's called Whopping. Whistler painted it for several years, on and off, and he painted and changed it quite a lot as he went along. It was really hard to catch the boats as they were moving up and down the river to, to get the colour. Just when he got the colour, they would be moving down. And you can imagine something like the steamboat with this lovely red funnel in the background. I mean, that was chugging up the river quite fast. So he had to work very fast. And then sometimes he wouldn't get it, so he would rub it out. It's a sort of precursor to Impressionism. Whistler never fits into these categories exactly, but it is an Impressionist painting. It's catching an impression of the picture, and the colour is simply marvellous. Now our show ends with this gorgeous picture, Nocturne in Blue and Gold, Old Battersea Bridge. It is a very crucial and pivotal work. It's painted very atmospherically. You can tell by the title that for Whistler, the colour and the atmospheric impression of the time was the most important thing. Although it was literally a picture of the bridge, and it aroused the fury of John Ruskin, the very influential art critic. He accused Whistler of throwing a pot of paint in the public's face. It really suggested that Whistler was a charlatan. He was a column artist. Whistler thought about this, not for very long, and then decided to sue Ruskin for libel. And that went to court. Whistler won. He got a farthing damages, which was derisory, and he went bankrupt a few years later. And to him, this was a very important picture. I think it is. I think it's incredibly important. It is um, a combination of, you could say, of East and West, of Japanese influence and a Western subject. And it is very, very beautiful.